To follow the beatitude of Jesus is to follow his attitude. My dear brothers and sisters, when we plan to buy an electronic item, for instance, a keyboard from the electronic shop, we are given a catalog of how to use the instrument. We try to operate it accordingly. We follow the catalog in order to become an expert operators. In order to live a good, happy Christian life, the Lord has also given us so-called a catalog known as Beatitudes. If you follow it very carefully and responsibly, I'm sure our Christian life becomes blessed, happy and rewarding. Let us try then, dear friends, to reflect and get a deeper understanding and meaning of the Beatitudes taught by Jesus from today's Gospel taken from the Gospel of Luke. Unlike St. Matthew mentioning eight Beatitudes in his Gospel, St. Luke presents four Beatitudes and contrasts four O's in his Gospel. He wants to highlight that Jesus not only taught the path of true happiness, but also made known the path that leads to destruction. Let us try to understand the mind of Jesus on Beatitudes. First and foremost, dear friends, the Beatitudes of Jesus contradict the world's views. To be happy in the world's way is contradicting to be happy in Christ's way. There is no middle path. Either we follow his way or that of the world. We cannot be following both at the same time. Secondly, the Beatitudes of Jesus promise a future reward. It entails short-term pain but offers eternal joy. Whereas the world offers short-term gratification but eternal misery. The present pain is negligible compared to the future gain. Thirdly, the Beatitudes of Jesus have a spiritual significance. For example, poor are those who depend on God. Mourners are those who weep over one's sinfulness. Hungry are those who hunger for righteousness. And persecuted are those hated by men on account of following Christ. And fourthly, the Beatitudes of Jesus show his attitudes. Jesus not only taught the Beatitudes, but he also lived them. His teachings, dear friends, were reflections of the life we lived. To follow the Beatitude of Jesus is to follow his attitude. Jesus says two things to his people, that they are blessed and poor, and that they are blessed because they are poor. Being poor means Christians find joy in the gifts we receive daily from God, like life, creation and our brothers and sisters, and not in money or other material goods. This type of poverty urges us to share the goods we have according to the logic of God, which is His gratitudeness. Dear friends, the Sermon on the Mount is the whole of Christianity, said Mahatma Gandhi. But noting that Christians had given up the teaching of the Sermon on the Mount on non-violence, he exhorted them to become worthy of the message that was embedded in the teaching of Jesus. Dear friends, Pope Francis says, the Beatitudes of Jesus define the identity of the disciple of Jesus. They may sound strange, almost incomprehensible to those who are not disciples. However, if we ask ourselves what a disciple of Jesus is like, the answer is precisely the Beatitudes. Pope says, some people may listen to Jesus, but ultimately refuse to accept the paradox of the Beatitudes and end up dissatisfied and sad like the rich young man in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 15. My dear friends, we reflected on the Beatitudes. As we know, none of us are perfect and born saints. We are striving toward holiness and perfection. Therefore, 
Though we have these beautiful beatitudes given by Jesus to live a happy life, we may find it difficult to follow all of them. Therefore, if not all the beatitudes, let us strive to follow at least some of them. Let us pray that these beatitudes help us to define the identity of our discipleship as well as our attitude towards others. May our Christian life be happy and blessed according to the teaching of the Beatitudes as prescribed by Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount. Amen.